huge development in the Jody Arias case. You know what? Jody sends a handwritten note to the judge asking the judge to change the date of the trial from September 8th to September 29th. And guess what? The judge granted her request. So joining me, we have Charles Middlestat, a criminal investigator. You're very familiar with this case, Charles. Can't wait for you to weigh in. Lonnie Coombs, prosecutor, you're there. Lonnie, I have to go to you. Her handwritten letter, I read it, four pages. She writes very neatly, by the way. What do you think about the request? <laughs> and what do you think about the judge granting it, Lonnie? I'm so irritated by the request, although it doesn't surprise me that the judge did grant it. I mean, this was in the works. You could see it when she said she wanted to represent herself, and it was, you know, the September 8th date is just a few weeks away, and now she's saying she needs to get more witnesses. So I, I can see why the judge is saying, whatever, it's been yeah. so many months already, I'll give you a few more weeks, but come on, we don't want to <laughs> see Jody manipulating the judge anymore. Exactly. On with it already, right? September 29th, I want to yeah. see what she has to say on that date. So, Charles, I got to go to you because the other big development she hired a private investigator right. all right so you're the private investigator what are you going to be looking for and how Charles would you be helpful to Miss Arias in the death penalty phase well you know that's the, the, I think the very interesting thing about this um, Joey is that in, in a traditional sense I mean this is the mitigation phase and, and this is we're supposed to shift away from guilt innocence it's all supposed to be on trying to explain Does she know that? I don't appear she doesn't. It right. seems like she's in great denial about that, and she's still trying to tee up some, wit some witnesses that are going to uh, help uh, shed some light on her innocence and the fact that she was uh, physically abused and suffers from this bad Who's going to do that, Charles? What witnesses right. are going to be out there? Exactly. Where are they going to find if, them? If those witnesses existed, they would have come out during the, the, the case in chief. And so uh, my sense is this is the great disagreement between her and her attorneys is strategic in nature and the fact that she is missing this opportunity to spare her life and this is what this next phase is all about and that's all it's about and and she here is the big that. disconnect and she doesn't get it so she's brought this investigator in who may or may not be uh you know fully conversant in what is or is not admissible in this uh, penalty phase of the case well, and he he's 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 a uh, compensated witness right he's ah, not appointed on team jody and she's going to do jody. whatever jody wants him to do no all right doubt. And I, you know what, Lonnie, I have to agree with Charles, uh, right, on the issue of, I think there's a disconnect, right? She doesn't get along with her lawyer, apparently, Nermi. We know mm -hmm. that. And I think, as Charles hits the head, and we were speaking about this off-camera also, I think Jody is still in the guilt or innocence phase, whereas this is yeah. about mitigation. What's going on, Lonnie? Yeah. Well, but Joey, here's the complication, and it's going to be interesting. We really don't know how this phase is going to go because... When you have a new jury coming in, they have to be caught up on what's gone on before. Yes. This doesn't happen very many times in court for the simple reason that it takes so much time and money. A lot of times the prosecutor will just say, okay, we'll take life and not go after the death penalty if there's going to be a new jury coming in. Absolutely. So it's going to be up to the judge, and the judge has a lot of discretion about how much of the evidence about the case itself will actually come in in front of the jury. It could be months. She could really limit it to a few weeks. So judge Jody's saying, look, in the chance that I get to put on essentially my whole case all over again, I'm going to line up my right. witnesses and be ready. So, Charles, quickly, you're her investigator. What do you bring into court? What do you bring to her to not get her the death penalty? It's all the 15 mitigation. Seconds. 15 <laughs> seconds. You're, you're, what you want is witnesses. You want co-workers, school teachers. You want medical records. You want assessments, work evaluations. You want everything that's going to paint the picture of a woman that that suffered from some type of emotional You heard trauma. it from Charles Middlestat. Could they do it? We're going to find out.